Hey everyone, welcome to another ranking, and welcome to my ranking of all the PlayStation consoles, including the PSP and PS, PS Vita. Yes, I'm a huge PlayStation fan, PlayStation represents the life, and the PlayStation 5. Hey, enough of that. <laughs> my girlfriend just booed because she's an Xbox loser. <laughs> um, I've always been a PlayStation fan. I've bought in PlayStation since the PS1 came out in the 90s. Uh, the PS5 is coming out, and to celebrate the PS5, I thought I'd rank all the consoles of PlayStation, all six, in my opinion, from a least favorite to my favorite. All right, let's get to it. Okay, coming at number six is the PSP. The PSP was just, you know, like a little device, but it still counts as a PlayStation console product. Uh, it was terrible. I did not like the PSP. I did have one for a little bit. Uh, I didn't like uh, the the DVDs it came with. It was always like these like shitty B list movies. Um, I, I didn't like the gameplay. I didn't like some of the games they had for it. I didn't like the controls of it. It was almost kind of like a C list Game Boy. It was just really shitty. Uh, I used to have a Game Boy, and I actually loved the old school classic Game Boys, but the PSP just was not a fan. I'm not a fan of the PSP. And just wasn't for me. Number five was the PS Vita. The PS Vita was the PSP done properly. Uh, the games were cool. The online gameplay was cool. I didn't really have a PS Vita, but I did play it multiple times on my cousin Julian's PS Vita. Uh, I thought it was really cool. I thought the gameplays were pretty cool. The games they had for it was pretty cool. You get to watch some cool things on it. You can stream things on the PS Vita. All really well done, but I am more of a hands-on controller guy watching it on my TV and stuff. I like the classic consoles and stuff, but as handheld consoles go, it's fine. It's much more superior than the PSP. Uh, number four is the, the PlayStation 3. The PlayStation 3 is a very good system. I think all four of the PlayStation consoles are very good consoles, but the PS3 was my least favorite out of the four um, uh, mostly because I didn't like how they launched it. I didn't like the look of it. And, I don't know, some of the, some of the games they came out were great. Like Uncharted, Last of Us, Assassin's Creed, all great stuff. Um, but, I don't and like, the, yeah, they had Netflix on it, a lot of cool stuff. They, it brought the wireless controllers, all great. But after, like, the, the release dates of the big games, nothing really popped out after and it kind of got old and tired there's a lot of glitching problems they had in the beginning of ps3 um i, I don't know there's just a lot of issues they had with it and i just didn't like the look of the ps3 it's like this big bulky playstation it always overheated on me too every time i had a ps3 uh I, the newer versions of the ps3 are much better but the ps3 i i always had a lot of people had that common issue of overheating and glitching problems in their video games i don't know it did bring the trophies, which is cool, but I don't know. I, I, PS3 is a good system. I still enjoy it. A lot of, I like a lot of games for the PS3, but definitely the weaker out of the four big ones. Number three is the PlayStation 1. Uh, the PlayStation 1 was very revolutionary. Uh, the games they came out with were incredible. My favorite video game of all time came out for the PlayStation 1. A lot of great horror games. And it, just, it was just amazing, the, P the PlayStation 1, when it came out. It was one of the biggest sellers for PlayStation and Sony products. Like, holy shit, was it big. Uh, I asked for, when the PlayStation came out, I asked for it for Christmas, and I got it. And I got, like, Cool Borders 1, and I got Tekken 2, and what else did I get? I got a few games in. Then I played Final Fantasy 7 when it came out in 1997. Just, oh, I fell in love with the PlayStation 1. And even when the PS2 came out, I still kept my PlayStation 1 and played old school classic ps1 games on it just i have a lot of great memories with the playstation one and I, I think it's a terrific system and i have very little negative things to say about it other than it's it's a bit date it's dated now and i really hated my discs getting scratched every time you scratch your disc you had to throw it in and buy a new fucking disc and it was just irritating as hell luckily when you have hd discs and stuff they don't scratch so kudos uh, number two is the PlayStation 4. The PS4, I have a PS4. Love the PS4. Everything about the PS4 is great. 
I love the games. I love how it works. You can put all these great stuff, like streaming services on it, like Netflix, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus. The PlayStation Store is great. The way you can do downloads on games. The way you can... It's more convenient now how to do gaming now. It's much more easy, much more resourceful. I love everything about the PS4. And the, the games they've came out, as controversial as some of them are, I really enjoyed the PS4. And PS4 brought me back into gaming. I took a hiatus, hiatus for a long time on gaming. But because of the PS4, I got back into it and fell in love with PlayStation all over again. Thanks to the PS4. Good job. Number one, though, is PS2. PS2 is the greatest console ever made. It's the greatest PlayStation console ever made. The way they did it was people were like, wow, you can watch movies and play video games? Wow. That's all thanks to PS2. PS2, you can play DVDs on it. And then you can also play video games and stuff. And the way you can hold memory cards and stuff. All terrific shit. Like, and the games that came out for the PlayStation 2. Some of the greatest games ever. Like the Naughty Dog games, the Square Enix games, the Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy X came over for the PS2, the Crash Bandicoot games, um, the original Spirals for PS1, but games like the Jack and Dexter games came out for the PS2. Just, oh, incredible shit. Fucking awesome games. And I have nothing but amazing memories for the PS2, and I just love it. I love it, and I think it's the best ever console that the PlayStation products are made. Came out for PS5. It's got a lot to compete with for the PS4 and the PS2, but I'm excited. So yeah, that was my ranking of all the PlayStation consoles, in my opinion, from my least favorite to my favorites. In the comments dash below, please tell me what is your ranking of all six PlayStation systems. In your guys' opinion, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.